my name is Anna Sparrow and I'm a director with Tupperware and I'm here to share with you one of my favorite products of the Tupperware line called the Tupperware Stack Cooker. You know in our busy lives right now people often stop at the fast food restaurants, they go pick up pizzas, they maybe pick up um, something that's already cooked or prepared with lots of preservatives um, in the grocery store and I'm here to share with you that you can have healthier dinners in less time and still be able to sit at the table together as one family. So with the Tupperware Stack Cooker it is designed to go inside the microwave and I'm going to share a little bit more about how it works but I want to get some of these recipes started because with my little YouTube camera we only have a 10 minute presentation time. So with that um, we're going to start with dessert. You know you always want to start with the best first. So we're going to take and we're going to use our three quart casserole. In it I have inserted this cone. It just sits right there, just nest on there. I'm going to tell more about this in a minute. But we're going to spray it. That's my insurance policy so it always comes out really great. And with it you can do lots of different variations with your cake. Today what I'm doing is kind of like a black forest cake. And I'm using our wonderful Tupperware can opener. Which when it goes all the way around, it's ergonomic in design, easy for you to hand, hold on to. Works even when you don't have power, so that's good. Um, after you've gone all the way around, you take a little top piece right here and you lift it off and you have all smooth edges, no sharp edges whatsoever to cut yourself off. Now with it, what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put the pie filling around the bottom. Now, like I was saying, we can do different variations. You can actually take and put the cake mix around here and then take frosting and put it on top, like a soft frosting, and it'll cook through and make like a lava cake. And we'd love to show that at your house doing one of your demonstrations. Now, I've already gone ahead and I mixed up the cake batter. And we're going to pour this. I used my mix and store plus pitcher. It keeps it nice under control, easy to handle, lightweight. We're going to pour the batter all the way around. And I'm also using our silicone spatula. I love that because it makes getting all the batter out very easy. Cleans up the bowl very nicely. It's also stain resistant and heat resistant. So you can use this spatula when you're browning beef on the stove and stuff. Although I'm going to show you how to brown beef in the microwave. But um, you can do that on the stove as well. Now, here is our cake before it goes in. Again, I've got the pie filling on the bottom, I've got the cake batter on here. I'm going to put in the microwave. It usually takes 8 to 10 minutes depending on the microwave, so I'm going to start mine off at 8 minutes. We can always check it and we can add time, but we never can take time away. So while the dessert is cooking, we're going to move on to showing you a little bit more about our other, the other pieces of the stack cooker. Now, we have to have a three-course meal. Now, have you ever had a three-course meal done in 25 minutes and all you had dirty with these little three casseroles? Not unless you have a Tupperware stack cooker, of course. We have the three quart casserole. That's the same piece you just saw going in the microwave for the cake with the cone. I'm not going to put the cone in this one because what we're going to do is we're going to dump some orzo, one cup of orzo in here. I'm also going to put in here one can of chicken broth. Again, using my Tupperware can opener to take it off so we don't have to have any visits to the emergency room cutting our hands on the cans, especially when we wash them out for recycling. Go. You can add salt and pepper to taste whenever you'd like to, um, but with it right now, that's all I'm going to put in here right at this point. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese and butter at the very end when it comes out. Now in the middle, what I've done is I've just taken, and this is where placement of your um, meat and your portions come in hand is very important. When you're cooking inside the microwave, the way a microwave works is that's a six-sided metal box is what it is. And the microwaves come in, the microwaves are attracted to fat, sugar, and water molecules. Now, when they go to touch them, all they do is bounce the micro the microwaves bounce the molecules around. The molecules to start rubbing against one another, and that causes friction. And that friction causes the heat which cooks the food. It, the microwaves themselves are not cooking the food. They are just moving the molecules, stimulating them. Now, with that happening, microwaves only penetrate one and a half to three inches in every direction. So when they come into the food, and the food starts taking over at that point. If you have a big rectangle glass container, which is perfectly safe to use in the microwave, you're going to have uneven cooking. So having it round is what helps it. Also, the fact that it's stacking is as the molecules in the microwave, they start heating, they bop, they're bouncing off one another, coming back into the food. So it makes more even cooking, more moist food cooking. Now, all your flavors are going to stay contained within each container. So you don't have to worry about um, the flavors going on to one another. The pork is going to taste like the pork right inside here. The orzo is going to taste like the orzo. They're not going to drip and, and exchange flavors to one another. So the pork, when winding that up, what I did was I just took one of these two and a half pounds um, turkey pork tenderloins. It's already seasoned and it, as you know, it's one big chunk. So I went ahead and cut it in slices beforehand to put it in here so it's more evenly distributed. 
and on the top, all I did was I took some broccoli, frozen broccoli, and I rinsed it off so that it's not so hard and frozen, don't have all the ice crystals, because the microwaves would take for, you know, have to work on the ice crystals, we want it to be thawed out. And it's just frozen package of broccoli and put it on top, but to add a little bit more seasoning and flavor to it, again, I'm going to take my Tupperware can opener, and I know that this has the pop top on it, and pop tops are real easy, but there again, pop tops can cut. They're very, very sharp when you take off the cans like that, so you want to use something that's not going to have that hard area. Nope, I have to do it one more time. It's all right. Sometimes that happens. I thought I heard it go through. There it goes. All right. And so we're just using this broccoli cheese, but it's 98% fat free. cut down the calories. I'm just going to stir some of that on there. I think it just gives it a nice cheesy broccoli flavor. A little something extra special. You can put some breadcrumbs on here. I'm opting not to just because I don't want to have the extra carbs. I've already got some carbs in my orzo. However, I am going to put a little bit of turkey bacon on it. Now, right prior to this, I went ahead and used our Tupperware microwave lunch plates. That is the perfect tool for cooking um, turkey bacon comes out very crisp. You place a piece of uh, paper towel on top of the plate, spray it with a little bit of Pam, and then you take and you put your about four slices on it. They came out crispy. Then I turned them and put them in here, which is a little chop and prep and I run like that and just chop them up nice and small. But we don't want big chunks. Oh, I'm just going to sprinkle that in. That smells good. Now, there we go. That's the meal that's going to go in the microwave. Now, because I'm not using, I have all my pieces used, I don't have a cover, I'm going to take wax paper. And I'm going to use that to cover it. Wax paper is the only thing that's really safe to go from covering the microwave. Sad wrap, saran wrap, I call it sad wrap, but saran wrap is not good because it can actually get um, leave chemicals onto your food. So wax paper does not, it's perfectly safe to go in the microwave. That's our stack meal. As soon as the cake's done, about three more minutes, I'm going to pop that in the microwave. It's going to go for about 25 minutes, and then we'll be ready to have our meal. Now, here is the pieces that we have currently available. Like I was saying, we do have the three-quart casserole. Some of the other things that you would do with that cone is that you could station a meatloaf around here, perfect for making a meatloaf. You could put a whole chicken on top of it and cook it. Um, you can do monkey bread in there. Um, I've done beer bread. Lots of different recipes love to share with you. Now, with it right now, currently, we do have it on special where you get three-quart casserole, a cone, a cover, and you can do two decker cooking with it, and you get the seal. All of this normally retails for $69. It's on sale for $39. So that's $30 savings. That's wonderful. We have some other pieces, though, to it, and you're still going to be using some of them. Another piece we have, this is our complement accessory set, the complimentary set. This one has the compliments that's are. This one has the colander, which is perfect for turning this into a um, fat drainer. You take and put your ground beef in here, or your ground sausage, whatever you want to cook. And you can brown it, like I said, beef in the microwave. You cover it, you put it in the microwave for like six minutes at a time. I mean, um, six minutes per pound. After about three minutes, you want to take it out and break it up so you don't have a meatloaf. You want to have it ground. And all the fat drains in here. You can take what's normally a fatter or meat and still end up with the same results as your lean beef that you purchase and do inside on top of the stove top just by simply using the colander. It also makes cleanup a lot easier. You can also take and put this inside of here and steam things like if you want to steam um, your tortilla shells or something like that, your soft top for tacos. We also have the um, one and three quart casserole. Now this one can be used independently. You take the cover and I make um, chicken parmesan in about 10 minutes in here. Again, let the chicken breasts go in for about maybe eight minutes. Take them out, throw some sauce and mozzarella on it, put it back in there, and voila, you've got it done. Um, this is also what we do for the stacking is we take something from the big part, we put it in the, I mean, something from the main part, sorry, one second, let me get this cookbook. This shows you exactly how this works. You pick a recipe from the bottom section, that goes in the large container. You pick one from the medium middle section, which goes into the middle container. And then you pick one from the top section, and that goes in the cover, just like you saw me doing. Um, we have lots of recipes, others to share with you too. The cookbook happens to be on sale right now for only $15. Then we have these pieces on sale for only 30. So in essence, you can get this at a huge savings. Normally this sells for $130 in the catalog, but you can get your three quart, two seals, your cone, a one and three quart casserole, a colander, the cover, 
all for only $69. Turn around and add the cookbook for 15 more. So this is a fabulous item for you to have for you and your family so you can have healthier foods. The kids can learn how to cook in the kitchen because it's much safer to use the microwave. It is faster. It does use more healthier. You don't have to use the oils and the fats and, and things like that inside of it. So it will be much more pleasurable for you. Plus, cleanup is really easy because this is all dishwasher safe. If you happen to have leftovers, you can take and leave them in one of the containers and put the seal on it and put it inside the refrigerator too. So we do have the case about done. We're going to give it a quick check. Oh, that's looking good. That's our cake right there. So now that's going to have to sit about for about 15-20 minutes to cool some. Um, as you can see, it is starting to pull away from the sides right there. It's getting all bubbled up, so it looks like it's nice and done. Um, I'll take a toothpick to it in a minute. We're going to put this stack meal inside the microwave, and in a little bit we'll come back. We're going to set the timer. I'm in the cooker for 25 minutes. It will have to have 5 minutes of setting time when it comes out. So in basically 30 minutes, we're going to check back and see the results. And thank you. Bon appetit.